All right. And YouTube, tonight we are going to play some Grixis Death Shadow. Very close to what uh, Dillian Donegan posted on his Twitter page. I just changed Ops. Super just for Ops. I just find Ops to be... I like Ops a lot better. I don't know. It's like... Just see if it just seems clunky with the amount of fetch lands that I want. I like being able to manipulate my draw step now. <clears throat> but besides that, it's all pretty straightforward. Some sort of straightforward death shadow stuff. A lot more removal. A little lower on stubborn denials in the main deck. And uh, the four anglers. Yeah, it's kind of all the same stuff. I think I'm currently in a league waiting to finish up. So let's go in the queues here. Oh, no, these are leagues. Oops. <coughs> oh no, they kicked us out. Sad. Oh, they gave us our play points back. Okay. All right, let's jump back in it. I'm going to put the deck up here and grab some of the drink, and I'll be right back. timing let's put my music on here <clears throat> who would like to play first oh this hand's fine it's good I think you'll just keep this one it's good not great but we have interaction on one, we have a removal spell. He's got an academy room too. This is gonna to be a tough one to win. <clears throat> I guess he doesn't have any way to turn that on yet, so we might as well hit it. This looks like it's gonna be a rough match. Rough match up here. At least in game one. Let's get to my top card. Nope. Which is a good play for him. You shouldn't you shouldn't bobble somebody if they're a discard deck. Next turn we can do the whole like attack with our death shadow, crack it for four, and then just dismember our own death shadow to grow it. Because I'm going to be willing to bet that our death, our death shadow is not going to allow, or we're not going to this dismember is not going to allow text this matchup. So at least it's going to be able to grow shadow. So just snap thought sees them. Do this all before combat. To grow our shadow. Makes our shadow only a six. Okay, so just have a bunch of that. Right? This is gonna be able to ghost core themselves and get blue mana, but that's gonna be pretty slow. If we find a battle rage, we're gonna kill it. But besides that, we're a little, we're a little bit of trouble here. Because we don't have too, too much going on. <laughs> but they're digging. Oh, 
themselves. They dug it out themselves. It's a good trick. So they drew the Glimmer Void. They have one card we don't know. So I might as well look for first. Cast this. What could this be? The only thing that makes sense for it to be. Well, now he's going to be able to whir back his bridge. So get his bridge, put his bridge back on top of the deck. So we found the Glimmerwood. Glimmerwood is actually a pretty big draw for him. I should do as much damage to him as possible because we have lightning bolts in the deck. So, how do I get him to? Thought sees him. He's just so many cards left in his deck that in his hand that he might not be able to like completely get at his hand empty. Especially when did he he drew the card on their third turn, so they've already drawn. So yeah, I think we're gonna be able to get him anyway, because he's just not realizing his hand is snapcast and he'll kill him. So this one's gonna be eight, ten, twelve snapcasters leave on next turn. As long as there's not like an abrupt decay here, we should be in good shape. Okay. So now the Snapcaster is lethal to the bridge. Yeah, you may see it there. Okay, we had a bolt anyways. <coughs> okay, so this is good. This is good. These are good. Cards that are not good. These aren't that good. Some number of these aren't great. The dismembers aren't great either. The bolts aren't great, but they can go upstairs. The question is if you want something like Grim Lava Mancer, but instead of a lightning bolt, because it just deals more damage longer. Or card like Young Pyromancer for another threat. Okay, so we know these are coming in. And these are going out. The big question is if we want to take anything else out. I can buy a Pyromancer. Because it's just more threats. So what if we go like this. Cut a Lightning Bolt. And then cut like... Blood Crypt. I don't want to get like Ghost. I want to keep my shop lands actually. Let's cut a fetch land. Cut a tarn. Because we don't have that many like expensive cards in our deck. We like we, we took out a bunch of th like we don't have any three. We only have two threes. Yeah, let's get this whirl. Sometimes I like Liliana the last help in this matchup because it just rebuys street rates in order to like help you fight out of the lantern lock. But I think we have enough other good stuff going on. We'll be able to get away with that. Hopefully we don't get ley lined out of this game. This hand's really good if we don't get... Well, even if we get ley lined, it's not bad. Okay. So we're going to start off by positioning. He's going to position us. So he sees we have a turn two angler no matter what. So I'm going to cycle this on my turn. Cycle again. I guess. I think I'm going to take this time. Very red cards to be deck. Yeah, I'm going to get the black. Yeah, I'm going to get a black crit. That's pretty cool out of a lantern deck. I just don't think you need. I don't think disdainful stroke. I don't know. Like disdainful stroke's fine. I think you can play other options that help you out more. Like I like how this deck has a lot more removal. 
So I can actually... Let's go fetch. Let me get a steam vents because we know about this ghost quarter. So like the stable stroke's good, not great, I think. We could have turned to Angler without... Um, without a... Uh, what do I say? We're gonna turn to Angler without even inquisitioning there, or without even uh, thought scouring. We're gonna keep one of these in, and we already have a thought scout, so we have one. But you can easily play something like there are just many different cards you can play that are that are just good substitutes. I think. Drawing a street race. They're drawing a pithy needle. All right. Now we're just gonna draw. We're just gonna draw. We're gonna wait on this street race here. And I'm just gonna play this land tap. There's no need to take any more damage than we already have. And it's good to stockpile up street race in this matchup because. Uh, okay, Inventor's Fair. There's a needle. Needle's good. So the Inventor's Fair is one land off. It looks like. Card Street with Oh, forgot about that one. Yeah, that was stupid. It's been a while since I played against Lantern. So they're drawing a dead. A dud. I'm drawing a good card. I should have cycled there. Just zoned out. Forgot that you can needle Street Wraith. I thought it was dead to like a lightning bolt. They do a lot of cards. They need a land. They should they should have milled there. I just have a cubic S, Tom of Tron, John Dima Meta. Trying to figure out quite sideboard. So the best card against John is just more of your own Liliana Last Hopes. Against Tron. <coughs> I don't really know. I think it's Tron is miserable. With a K command coming. Nice. So now this is sweet, because they have to get rid of this in order to shuffle their deck. And we can just opt into it if we need to. And yeah, my opponent's super dead. Alright, so we do miss the shuffle there on the library, which means we turn off the Inventor's Fair, which is good. They're drawing a Codex Shredder, and they're just conceding. Alright. Yeah, I just think against Tron, like, the best way to do it is, like... Probably, probably just, uh, you can play Ceremonious Rejection, and that's also very good against Tron. Um, play just more cards like, I don't know, Lightning Bolt's good as well. I don't know, Tron's just annoying. Like, I don't have a lot of good answers when it comes to Tron, because there's not a lot of good answers. Moto symbol. It's throwing me off. I haven't seen this this wizardry before. Um yeah. We got a, maybe a turn two shadow for lucky. When you won't do it, I'm trying not to, man. I, I like playing, I'm gonna play, we're playing it's elves. Oh gross. Soon to be standard staple, Llanowar Elves. This seems like an atrocious matchup unless we find a battle rage. At least they mulliganed. Okay, let's get this archer out of here. So at least they don't have anything. And then what do they do with this? They put a card on the bottom. So like, we're gonna be able to play an angler next turn. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to play an angler. Wow, what a draw. What a draw from the opponent. I think they're already pretty good versus Tron. Yeah, I still don't think that's good. Do you think... 
Brixis Death Shadow is better than Traverse's Shadow in the Wild. I don't think the four color Traverse Shadow Death Shadow, the four color Traverse Death Shadow deck is all that great right now because just Stubborn Denial is like not, not very good at the moment. All right, that's good. So let's cycle this for you or anything. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, if this was a task, we could have played it. So now we're just looking for a battle range. I don't even think it's the mid-range decks. Um, like, I, I I would play against Jund. Like, you you obviously you can just get like blood bright elf out of a game. So the last card's Cabin, so at least we know we're not gonna like die. You can get Blood Bright Elf out of a game, but like, what I'm worried about is the Humans deck. Like, I can sit down there against Humans and Hollow One, and that's what I worry about. Because with like, Lingering Souls or Snapcaster Mage, like, you've got play. I'm gonna opt, because we're, we're looking for like, strictly Team or Battle Rage at this point. We don't need that. I play the four color Reveler deck. I think it's cool. All right, let's do this before combat. All right. I'm gonna play this and then attack. So we know why our opponent's last card's Cabin Souls. Five block, take three. Okay. So big block, I probably won't crack. There might be a good like four color white traverse deck. If dampening, like that's another thing that I'm gonna stream here in a little while. If dampening sphere is enough to help you without the counter spells. I don't want these, I have a cake man, I don't want that. <clears throat> oh, I should have ditched, I guess the thought scout was all right. Um, if Dampening Spear helps plug some holes that Stubborn Denial filled, then the four color deck might be, the white deck might be good. Like Lingering Souls and Ranger, and like Grim Flares and more removal spells. Okay, so they're flooding out. That's what we're talking about. I think the card's very good. I think that it's obviously not the end all be all, and it is going to hurt you just as much as. Well, it's not gonna, it's gonna hurt you as well, but I think that it's gonna show a lot of play. So what do I do here? One, two, three. If I fetch once, go to five, and they find a... I think we're just gonna 10 them. Because if like, we die to an Arch Druid if we fetch. I think it's a four of sideboard card, Trey. Because like, it's like a, it, it's, it's a hoser against land decks, and it's a hoser against spell based combo decks. Which is really big. What is this? It's like a shaman of the pack. <laughs> My god, if my opponent top deck the shaman of the pack, I'm about to pee. Okay. So we're not gonna fetch. Draw has been a little rough. Probably should have played a tap one of these last turn. So if I attack with both, my opponent has to chump block the Death Shadow, and then we die on the crackback. So we're just gonna attack for one. Yeah, the pro the big problem with like frustrated me about Fulminator Mage and the old Jundex was like. You can have your Fallen Air Mage on the draw and you're staring down a con. And it's like, my card doesn't do anything. Dampening Spear is like, because it's also very good. I don't think all decks are gonna play for them, but I think every I think every fair deck, we need the Stampede, we can stub that. Thank you, God. Um, they just concede, oh wow. Um. But like, it's it's it shuts off something a part of the uh, shuts off an aspect of the game that's really difficult for it to interact with, which are lands, you know. 
Yes, but like the matchups, the matchups where you want Bloodbraid Elf, do you want? Do you the matchups where you want Dampening Spear? Is Bloodbraid Elf really that good? I don't think Bloodbraid Elf is very good against Tron or Storm. Like you can easily sideboard those cards out. I want this card. These are aces. These are aces. <coughs> well, the Terminate's kind of yeah, right? Okay. The cards I don't want. We cut some anglers. BB is not gas for his Tron. It's a four mana card. Like it's a four. It's a four mana card, and like four mana cards are not super great against Tron. Cast Rage, we're not going to play that long of a game. Um, probably maybe like an Inquisition. Is that more removal? Do I want to cut another Inquisition for a Terminate? Let's see what this looks like. Maybe I should cut another Snapcaster and keep his Tree Wraith in. Like Blood Moon. It's well, okay, so it is going to be like Blood Moon against Tron, but it comes down a turn, a, a turn earlier. Yeah, I'm saying it comes down a turn earlier before they get to Carney. Like that's just so huge. Like even Stony Silence sometimes is too slow. Like, it's obviously, I think it's very good because it also splits into different, it like, it hits different decks. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that you can board this, there's a card here that's like aces against, or it's your best cyborg card against Tron, and it's your best cyborg card against Storm, it's very big. I don't know, I've looked in the, I've been on the wrong end of turn three Tron, turn three Karn too many times to do that. Um, Snapcaster's nice to reuse, reuse, um, to reuse, I don't want to run it into too many counter spells, but it's nice to reuse, um, removal spells. Alright, this hand's gotta be good. We have a good Lava Man's here. <coughs> We're gonna get this Lava Man down and hopefully he takes us to the Promised Land. Yeah, Tr Tron is actually, like, an incredibly consistent deck, which is, like, really frustrating. Like, I don't ever, like, Tr Tron's just, like, you're never going to stop it from getting Tron, in my opinion. Um, I hate the Steam Vent, so I'm going to get Blood Crypt. And then we're going to fetch Watery Grave and smoke this Elvish Mystic. Thought he's going to smoke this Elvish Mystic. It's also, oh, man. He hit my card. What a jerk. He doesn't even have a land. All right, we're going to snap this thing off. <coughs> it's so rude, opponent. I drew two lands after keeping because of my one sideboard card. You smoked my sideboard card? Yeah. Better where else? All right, so now, like, everything's been undone. Maybe it was wrong of me to take... Yeah, I'm gonna take this collecting company. They get the Dwayne as Elite. <coughs> I wasn't like super thinking there. I was thinking about like the chat also there. And I didn't think about that too, too much. Like maybe I should have taken the... Like left them. The shop was the fact that I was gonna just deal too, so much damage. Like they can just sandbag it and I don't have good ways to interact with it. ourselves a chance to draw a Gurmag or draw an Anger of the Gods. So now we actually did three, six, yep. That was rough. That was rough. They had the answer to our sweet sideboard card, then they just kind of like beat up on us there. 
Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, that's the frustrating part about Tron is like it just. And another annoying thing about Tron is like nobody would board like Tron demands you like nobody would board Fulminator Mage if Tron wasn't in the format. Okay, because like Scape Shift isn't enough of the format to care about it. <coughs> you can just board better cards in against um against control decks and such. Like it's just so nice to board this card that's like your best card that's been printed against it. Sorry, I'm looking for my light lamp here. That's also good in other places. Fulminator is like not great in the mirrors. Fulminator is like medium. Like it trades for a raging ravine sometimes. Like I think I, I think you're like I think you're vastly overrating how good it is. Keep this. I don't think Fulminator is that good in the mirrors at all. I think it's like something you board in if you have too many cards to take out. Like it might be right to board in the Fulminator Mage if we can get to this Liliana. This is gonna be sweet. Oh, I need to fetch red. I need to fetch red lands. All right, one mana accelerant. Okay, so I don't have a one mana accelerant. So <clears throat> this is weird. I don't think we can take. Like, I can easily take the Elvish Visionary because then they curve Heritage Druid into Dwayne's Elite, which is kind of annoying. The Visionary is going to give them more reach. So the Shaman of the Pack is the card that's going to actually kill me. So I could take the Heritage Druid to make sure the Dwayne's Elite is too slow. Because, like, we could potentially buy the type. So we could just turn this Dwayne and Elite off if we take the Heritage Druid. Because we're just going to eat his creatures. So I think I'm actually going to take the Heritage Druid. That seems so mopey. If I don't take the Heritage Druid, I kind of have to take the Dwayne and Elite or the Elvish Visionary. I kind of want to take the Druid. Yeah. But you're never like pump, like you draw Fulminator Mage with a Gen Mirror and you're never like, yes. You know, on average. Occasionally, we have another discard spell here to hit this Elvish Visionary, it's gonna be gas. Wow. I am so good at this game. Ooh, there's an Arch Druid though. Just be an adult and take the Arch Druid, probably. So I really want to just get greedy and snap this visionary off. I have a bunch of removal spells for this, for this, uh, and we're, we're gonna be able to contain this Arch Druid because of Liliana Lasto. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take this visionary. One, two, three, four, yeah. Was it Tacit or we have it down? Oh, so they hit, they hit a land. So there's the elite. So now we get steam vents tapped. Yeah, I mean the four anglers biting us right now. <laughs> Definitely need to be conservative in my life total afterwards. We can get Angler down and have Stubborn Denial. There's the Abbey. It does occasionally come up. I'm just telling it how it is. It's just going right at me. Alright. Okay, so can I get one more thing out of this? Or, so what's my opponent gonna do? If I take up on this Druid, they have Shaman of the Pack, Collecting Company. If I take up here, we stub the company, and maybe they just cast Shaman of the Pack. I'd like, I wonder if I can get more out of this, out of this anger. We can angler this turn. 
and hope they don't draw land. Or I can just play Angler. I can just play Angler, tick up, play my land, pass. Look to deal, but then if they, how do they kill me? Shaman of the Pack deals three. Block here, that's five. Kinda gotta be weird in my life total. <coughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna play Angler. I think I'm gonna Anger. I think I'm gonna Anger and play Angler. Or I can just go plus here, block here, and then angler next turn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I should plus on this, because he's definitely tapping this for mana. Which is gonna incentivize him not to attack, I think. All right, so we're gonna go here. Play a land. the angler play the angler and pass yeah I hope they just play to the board okay so that's them playing to the board let's go to the home team so one two three four so land block take one take four so we got a one on the board that's if they attack with the druid. Alright, so now we're just gonna like... We're just gonna leave this land here. I don't think I'm gonna crack this until I need it, as long as I have a basic island in my deck, which I still do. <coughs> it's getting tight. They're going, yeah, I got another one for the push. Yeah, that makes sense also. We're gonna have to crack, I should have been thinking like, we have to crack it anyways. I just wasn't thinking. He should let this resolve. And then when I go to combat, he should come. Because there's no way, he should not company into the face of this anger. Yeah, this is a good play from our opponent. Phases. Get that out of my face. <coughs> We're still definitely not out of the woods here. Like we do this Liliana is going to cut off quite a bit of our opponents, um, quite a bit of our opponents' good draws, but well, that's awkward. So do I just wait, or do I still keep attacking, or do we just like hold off here? I kind of just want to ultimate this and then play another one. So I think we're just going to actually just block with the angler. There's no, like, I don't want to like, attack, have him attack me, then play another Shaman, and then all of a sudden, like, I'm at one. I think we're just going to pass. Look at the right colors in the shadow deck. Yeah, that's, we're trying this out. We are trying this out. If I like this, hopefully I can get Kish's deck. That's a, good, that's a good draw for them. So what do they do? Just Heritage Druid? Jesus. 
That sucks. Yeah, I'm going to Baltimore. Alright, that's a great draw. So let's... Let's attack first. <coughs> and we're going to ult this. Play another one. We got a lightning bolt here to take care of stuff. Oh man, it gets another one because of the Gurmag Angler? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Who's on my team? Tom and Micah. Yeah, dude, combo deck here. We have Life Points and Death Shadow. Yeah, so like, I like this Grixis, this Grixis deck, it comes at a bunch of different angles. Like, I think that, I like how this deck has a little bit of a better humans matchup. Alright, so we're gonna let that resolve. Now, what is this? Dwarven's Elite. So I probably want to bolt this Heritage Druid with this in the stack. Right? Because it cuts off his mana. Am I crazy? Yeah, I mean, that's the right thing to do there. Yeah. And then Tom's got a human deck, so I might just play like three games with humans and then decide like, all right, I can actually pilot this deck and I might play that. I guess I should have just ticked up before I was like talking. Yeah, see I gave him a free block. So now like I could now I could be in trouble. Yeah, that was stupid. I was like talking, I should have just like I think it's a very good deck. I don't have any reps with it, which is the problem, and I can't get it on moto. Because it's like too expensive. I'd have to like mortgage like a bunch of my own collection and I hate doing that. So now I don't know how I die, but I definitely like gave my opponent a chance here. Cause they could be down with more creature. But I guess the way I die is like land, elf, yeah, so you got a shaman of the pack. My opponent's just shaman of the pack accompanies me. Yeah, see I gave them this chance. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. That's frustrating. And that is one of those that just happens when you when you start streaming and you just aren't paying attention as much. <coughs> but what are you gonna do? But like, I don't know. I would have won that one. Yeah, I would have won that one if I hadn't been like I would have won that one if I hadn't been streaming. Because like right after I attacked, I was like I should tick up on this. Like knowledge that like right after. But like. He, if he had another one mana elf, he'd have killed me. But if he had a one another one mana elf, he would have played it in order to play around a removal spell. So yeah, that's just kind of a kick in the kick in the jump there. But what are you gonna do? I do think that humans and hollow one are like the two best decks in the metagame. Like they're kind of on a separate level from each other. But they are very good. I I played Hollow One a bunch and I find it kind of obnoxious, so I wouldn't play Hollow One. But like, I would probably I would probably play Humans if I thought I could like handle it. Yeah, we'll keep this on top. get a blood crypt here and then just smoke this hierarchy. I think death and taxes is also very good. 
All right, so I'm actually gonna go fetch an opt on my main phase here because if I hit a Death Shadow discard spell, I'm gonna only cast it. Right. One off of playing Angler again, which is worth noting. It's the second time it's happened. Three matches. God, tell me you just have one land. Just one time, dude. You just have one land and you are just a greedy bastard. Alright, so we are playing against Infect. This has got to be a pretty decent matchup, if I would assume. It's good for the gen side, so like, it's got to be okay here. Okay, so I can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can just Angler for 2, leave a Lightning Bolt, and then play, and then have Death Shadow also. <clears throat> you try the Bobbles? Make sure to check out I did try the Bobbles. Yep. I like the Bobbles, but I wanted more real cards in the deck. <coughs> Like, the more I play this deck, the more it's, like, slower. I'm like, coming in for one here. Am I just dead? What do you got? You got triple growth? My god, my opponent kills me here. You got triple growth, bro? Let me see the goods here. All right, thank God. So now, I get him for eight, he goes to 10. So I actually just like snap. So Snapcaster's lethal, which is sweet. This deck is like a little bit more, like something that I don't necessarily like about this deck is that it wants to play a little bit of a longer game. So you don't have that just like, do do kill you, like the Traverse deck does. <coughs> so it's, it's worth at least knowing. So how do I die here? I gotta like, I gotta have a pump spell, a four mana pump spell, and a protection spell. I thought it's not dead on the board, so they might not go for it. Plus two, plus two, and gains XP. That's another way I die. So now I gotta act. Probably dead. Now. He's got double. Um. If he has double blossoming defense, I die. If he's got blossoming defense like Vines of the Vastwood, then I don't die. Yeah, this, this, is, this is like. Feeling like we're going to. To Dead Town, USA here. Show me the good. Hopefully it's a vines. Not another blossoming that's the vines. Yeah, okay, so we win. That's fine. Oh, he had a mutagenic growth. He had to growth. All right, all right. All right, so we don't want, we want this, this. Liliana's gas, Colgon's command's good, Lava Man's good. Looks like we're just gonna settle in for a street gate, so for a long game, like we don't need battle rage. Um, we can cut some anglers, we can cut a snapcaster. We don't need to necessarily have to play. But we're gonna be working on a graveyard anyways with these lava mancers. Maybe I can cut like two street raids. I don't know. Okay, so what else? This deck is just not good anymore. Well, you know, like, 
That is that is your opinion there, Bray. And everyone everyone is entitled to it. Um I wonder how good Stubborn Denial is. You like Pyromancer? Well, Cakey Man can go like hit Ink Moth, hit Dude also, right? <coughs> is it worth it cutting this for one of these guys? Pyromancer is like not block. Like, this card's only good against Glistener Elf. Besides that, it's not good enough. You know? Yeah, but I think that if you can, like... Like, we, we've trimmed down here. We've become a little more mana efficient. Like, Kologon's Command's a great home run card, I think. Yeah, we'll keep this. We hit a fetch land. We hit a fetch land. We've got a turn two death shadow or a thought seeds. God, I'm good in this game. That's another thing that I miss about this deck sometimes is like the traverse one has eight discard spells. I cut two of the delve cards. Um. So this is a pretty easy vines. The next turn I go Death Shadow Bolt Your Hierarch. And then we uh, help this push is gonna play the dance with this um Ink Moth Nexus. Yeah, sometimes I don't like how this deck is like Like sometimes I just don't want to play a long game. And sometimes this deck like enables a long game. That's all it does, you know? That's a good draw. <coughs> so now our best draw is a fetch land off the top. Because fetch land makes this thing a 5-5, five five, then we can just hide behind it. I do kind of have to worry about Arbor Beats. I think I just want to actually just like hit this, take one of these mites, push this thing, and then just hide behind these two stubborn denials for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think we're just going to get aggressive. Don't give him the option to block here. <coughs> Rat into French, yeah. I kind of want to just push this. Because I really don't want him to draw like a spell pierce and then like nearly kill me next turn. Is that crazy? It can't be that crazy. We've got like, yeah, we're just gonna get aggressive here. We're gonna put him on the back foot. This stuffs his mana also. This is like a wasteland in some ways. <coughs> yeah, I, I thought about attacking first, but like, I didn't really wanna just give him the option. I kinda just wanted to like go pedal to the metal. All right, that's gas. So now we're cracking for seven. It sucks that it didn't end up really mattering, like it didn't take a turn off of our clock. Which gets the events just in case. Yeah, I mean he's gotta like like he next turn he probably has to chuck away his like, Moth Nexus. <coughs> so there's the Misty. He can't crack our land anymore, so now he has to block. Lighted Agent, there's Might of All Corosa. okay. So we actually have to stub this Might of All Corosa so that it doesn't make our Death Shadow like a 2-2. Two -two. <coughs> I 
Because I want this Death Shadow to be lethal next turn as well. Like, I don't want him to be able to, like... Though he might be setting up, like, a double... Maybe he's got Might and one other card. Yes, yeah, so that's a really good reason why. Because if he'd have gone to take three counters off, which would have made a 4-4, four, four, so if I don't have a way to deal damage to myself, theoretically, he can. He doesn't have to block it next turn, but now we still have him in the Abyss. I think definitely having two... Okay, so now we're the same thing. Bing, bing. Alright, before blocks. I guess. Destroy target artifact. God, I hate doing this. Um, return. Target player discards a card, destroy target artifact. Let him know. Get out of my house. All right, so on the draw, this Snapcaster might be kind of garbage. Maybe I want like another Stubborn Denial. I was pretty pumped. That Stubborn Denial was pretty gas. So maybe like another Snap's just gonna be like a little slow. I can buy that. I can buy that. Maybe this Liliana Last Hope's also gonna be kind of slow. Are any of these cards better than Lily on the last hope? Yeah, imagine those Pyroblast. I think this Liliana is just gonna like completely dominate the game if I can land it. Like it's like it makes it so it's like Ink Moth or Bust. So I think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I just like Opt. I don't know, I I, I struggle, I, I don't, I just feel like, I feel very much, feel much more clunky when I have Seer Visions in my deck. Which is a little, fr like, a lot of people play it, and, you know, I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any good reason to say, like, why I don't play it, I just, I, I've, I've struggled a lot. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. And, Snap Seer Visions? Yeah, this game's very good. Snap Serum Vision is one of the most mopey plays in modern. I think I'm just gonna get this. I think we're just not we're not messing around here. If you wanna trade a bunch of whatever it is, like mutagenic growths here, then like be my guest. Yeah, so these discard spells are gonna be good if we can get them down. Which here comes the first discard spell. That's nice. That means we can like feel a little bit better. Actually I should Thought sees. Yeah. Just for life total reasons. <coughs> okay. So this kitchen face is kind of small ball, and it's actually going to turn on our death shadow. So I don't think we're going to take that. I think I'm just going to take the vines. I don't have vines or probably just take dispel. Well, he can cast vines. I don't want him to dispel my thought scour. Like that would be kind of annoying. Now I can just take the vines next turn. I don't think these these cards are virtually the same thing, and this one interacts with this. So I'm just gonna take the dispel. I don't want him for some reason to go like land, hold up, like and then not get rid of my cantrip. Yeah, I'm saying if he draws it, that's what I was talking about. <coughs> okay, here comes the fence. <coughs> we don't care about the Finks really. If anything, the Finks is going to kind of help us out. 
Bench layup. to lightning bolt something. I should give myself the option to bolt something. And he's not going for it with these cards. If he goes for I guess like... Hang on. He's not going to go for it. Because I can just like... Bolt and... <coughs> Bolt and then stub the second one, even if he draws a land in order to be able to cast it. Yeah, so I'm just going to play this. And if he just attacks me, then I'm going to take it. <coughs> Dude, it's so good. I am so good at this game. There's kind of a cool line there where I actually could have like bolted myself. And then blocked and stubbed his whatever he's doing. That's a good draw. That's good also. It makes it so that our Finx is... Our uh, Death Shadow is larger than the Finx. <coughs> so here's the thing. We take both pump spells. And then... Or we attack. We stub one of the pump spells. I guess I could actually just go, like, Inquisition the Blighted Agent, so then... I don't know, I just have, like, a lot going on that's pretty good. <coughs> Everything now, like, I just not to die out of nowhere. Like, I, I think I've got this game, I just need to not throw it away. Oh, Cam Fairy Blurry. Yeah. Still working on the new setup here. Also, don't know where my actual nice camera is. My wife did something, did something with it. I don't know where she put it. happen. Yep. He just has Blighted Agent. Okay, so here comes Blighted Agent. Should tap both of these. Yep. So this thing gets around K command. Hit this. <coughs> Attack for eight. Have bolt and stubborn denial. I don't think there's a draw that super gets my opponent out of this because we can stub a pump spell. We can kill something. And then, like, next turn, we can go, like, shoot something. All right, we go to. Now we just kill a blocker. Yeah. Got it. Hit this here. Go Shatter Shock. <coughs> or whatever we want to do. Whatever we just don't cast Gurmag Angler or Down. Cards, destroy an artifact. Yep, that's good. Should be 3 0, but made the old uh, made the old stream pun. I guess that still looks kind of obnoxious. Put a 
necklace up here. I'm gonna get some more water. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well actually just throw this up here while. I thought it was sweet. Good luck. What a guy. He has a no land heater. Oh, it doesn't matter. We're going to lead off with the Inquisition. Just because we have both of these thought seizes and we. This gives us the option to control our life total a little bit. twice today. All right. So we're just gonna take the one that costs one, and then we're gonna take the two that cost two next turn. And then we're gonna pray that this Gurmag Angler takes us to the promise. There we go. All right, so that might change something here. is a pretty important draw. So we're going to at least Thought Seize them once. That fucking Dismember. So now I'm just going to take this Dismember and play it in Death Shadow. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take Dismember and we're going to get on the board. Even though they're going to get they're going to get Natural Tron. We're gonna get turn four Tron. So let's think. If I take the dismember, two, crack them for three next turn. If we hit a fetch land six, we can at least play an angler. So it's three, then it's eight, eight. So they're gonna have two lands off of Tron. So we're gonna be able to hit them for three, 11. So basically we make them hit on the next turn if we play Death Shadow. Dude, everybody's good at something, man. All right, we're gonna be aggressive. Ooh, I miscounted. This could backfire. If I can't get this angler down next turn, it's gonna backfire. Natural Tron 4. Tilt. Oh man, I miscounted. Okay, so they just ripped the Tron piece. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a third time. That is the third time! We're gonna be able to get an angle down this turn. But now we're significantly slower. And because of that Sanctum Lugan. Don't be a Karn. Actually, I'd rather be a Karn than like, probably Karn's the best thing they can hit if he hits a big scary thing. <coughs> yeah, I messed this all up here. I should've gone Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. And then just prayed. And 
All right, the fact that he's not slamming something probably means that, like, something's going on here. But he doesn't have something good. I'd love to hit a fetch once. Okay, so he had a sphere. He's probably mono green, right? Because he's got all these forests. All right, so that's not bad if we can untap with it. But again, we're just not cracking for very much damage. My whole plan fell apart here because we're not hitting that hard. Like theoretically, he would be at, whatever this is, three minus five, he'd be dead next turn. My plan worked, but now we're just gonna get like, all is dusted, or whatever it is, or Ugand, or Oastown, and then just get wrecked. Hate running for anglers. We got punished tonight for sure. All right, so he's he is digging, and they hit something. Please be a Karn. All is dust. Gross. He's got Sanctum Lugan Urza's mind. And now we're just like super dead. So if I had a double thought sees them in Counter Bright, <coughs> we would be a turn slow. But we'd have like a chance here. Not fighting this one quite legend. Alright. So against this deck, we got the rejections are great. The denials are great. This, the K Command's probably okay. Cards we don't want. Fatal push. Well, K Command's also probably kind of medium too. We probably don't even want this K Command, to be honest. We probably can shave on an angler. Cause they're gonna have a bunch of relics. We can probably shave on an angler and a snap. Then it's like, do we want this many bolts? Probably not. But we can bolt ourselves, which is kind of a different angle this deck now has. The dismembers are just kind of like there to kill Thrag Tusks and then to like overpower them. We can like supercharge our draw. So what do I go something like this? This terminates like kind of medium. K command against Worm Coil, so I can shatter an artifact that then gives me three more, two more artifacts on the battlefield. Right? Like, what else do I cut here? Do I cut, like. I can see cutting one of these for a K command. Like, K command's good, but, like, once those things hit the battlefield, they've done their damage. <laughs> you know, you're talking about EE -E in the backside. What do I cut? Are these bolts just like not super great? The cool thing about Lightning Bolt is that it can supercharge your draw. You can just bolt your face, and it'll give you a chance to get under them. Dismember kills. Um, Kicking Man's Greater Than Snap. Okay, I buy that. I can buy that. Um, what Dismember does, Dismember hits Thrag Tusk after board. Yeah, they have three threes. Keep the bolts. Okay. Well, the Dismembers kill the Thrag Tusks, and then they let you supercharge your draw, which is important. Like, sometimes you just beat decks by making a massive Death Shadow. gonna keep it on that idea then we're gonna bring the E in. I just don't think the Snapcaster Mages are gonna be where we want to be here. We gotta kill him there for bang right? Isn't take team of battle rage like one of our better ways to do that? God it's like I don't think I can keep this hand. I don't think I can keep a hand that doesn't have a threat. At least this has discard spells. On six, I'm a little less 
This isn't good, but on six it could be worse. Alright, um, so this goes and gets me a blood crypt. Target thought not seeker. <coughs> yeah. What he said. Urza's mine. Chromatic star. Okay. We're gonna go fishing here. Probably shouldn't get a redraw card. Alright, we'll take an O stone. Then we're gonna snap thought seize them again, and then at least we have a clock on the field. This is the this is the anemic part. This is why I don't sometimes don't like this deck. Is that like with the traverse deck, like you're just you're very much more you play a less consistent game overall, but you are much more threat consistent. Boys and girls, they have Tron. We have steam vents in case they play Ghost Quarter. They could draw it, I don't know. Alright. So now I think I just gotta play the Angler. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna be able to thought seize my Snapcaster's useless, but like. If I don't get this angler down here, then I'm just not going to win this game. I'm probably not going to win it either way, but the angler is at least step one. And I got my little 2 beauty, my little 2 2 cutie here. Yeah, they're just coming. Okay. Which, like, yeah, we could have we could have snapped thoughts he's the Karn. But, like... What, what are we doing, you know? We got a 2-1 on the battlefield. They're at 18. Their game plan is in that. That's why that deck is frustrating. Because, like... It's just... It's, it's a good deck. Like, Tron... I think Tron's one of the better... Yeah. I think Tron is one of the better decks in the format. It's very good. It's very frustrating. Because, like, there are no other cards in the format that you... Act There's no cards in the format you actively want against Tron that you really want other places. I think it's worse than 60-40 there in Quish's Pride. Between their four relics that they have after sideboard, like, I think it's much, I think, it, I think I don't, I mean, I'm not sure you can get much worse than that than 60-40. Maybe it's like 70-30. It feels like one of the more lopsided matchups in Modern. Anything, any, even like the Jundet Shadow deck's not very good against Tron. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. I was actually looking at just something for. So I want to go back here and I want to try this out. Where is it? It's right here. I want to try something like this out again. No, this isn't it. Where is it? No, I actually I made it. I have too many decks here. I have to get rid of some of these. Right here. I made this today when I was just like messing around. And I kind of want to try something similar to this again. The game's still going on here. Oh, we just got matched. Alright. Dude, what's my dog doing? Philly over there is just exhausted. So we're actually just gonna leave. Yeah, okay, well, all right, we're on the we're on the draw. 
I zoned out there. I thought we were in the play for a second. What? Oh, they just F6 through their turn on accident, it looks like. I guess we'll take it how we can get it. Unless they're like, are they going to discard? Like, what is going on here? Opponent's going to give us, hook us up here and give us the 3 2. What a nice guy. This card is so annoying. Let me just say. I was just gonna take this Tamiyo. Like they're gonna be able to slog through this Death Shadow for, I don't know, quite a long, a couple rounds. There are a couple, oh, they're gonna slog through this Death Shadow for a while, that Tammy was just gonna win in the game. Fucking Gurmag Angler. Alright, um. I guess I'm gonna opt now. I could find like a discard spell. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Alright, we're gonna play it. <coughs> it's gonna get path. <coughs> but at least that opens us up to play a longer game, I guess, because we're going to have more mana. It's going to help us recast our Gurmag Anglers four times. I'm going to turn my phone off here. Alright, so they didn't path us at least. Maybe there's a way we can get them, but they have three removal spells, like, not good. <coughs> Alright, let's see if they wait here. If I want to crack in, no, they're going to play around it. Good on them. Good on them. Just doing a little moto fetch game. All right, let's get this. And at least they're gonna reflector mage my death shadow, and not my Gurmag angler. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna reflector mage one of my Gurmag or one of my Gurmag anglers one time, but I'm gonna be able to at least fill my graveyard up to where it's gonna be able to like help out. Like I'll probably just tap out to cast Gurmag angler when I do, just to preserve the graveyard. <coughs> Alright, so we're just gonna mage this. I'll probably just dismember it, pay in the whole thing. Because it's just more cards in the graveyard. More ways to make it so nasty, Gurmasty can get back into play. And we're not... We're not at the point now where we want to at least be going pedal to metal in our life total because this game's going to last a little longer. Alright. Alright, we're doing it. Get this other stupid reflector mage out here. Geist. Alright, we can beat Geist. in here. Get a little more velocity. <coughs> Definitely need to not take very much more damage because this angel though. This angel is going to smack me around. Okay, so they drew that. Then we're just crashing in with this angler. Very like surprised if we win this game. Stub it. No, they're gonna, they're gonna path my shadow. Sure.
And then I'm going to just play this because there's actually a world where if we draw a street wraith, we cast it. Dude, I love when you play the Death Shadow Mirror and you get to that weird part of the game where everybody's just hard casting street wraiths and it's just like Trina Nemesis. You just can't, you can't kill it, you can't block it. It's just like, I got my 3 4. Alright, dude. <coughs> don't hit a Reflector Mage. Please don't hit a Reflector Mage. This is like a Bant Company deck. Chase the Mind Sculptor. That's interesting because he still can't attack. So like it's just Jace bounce a creature pass. Because if he attacks with either both creatures kill him. Then I go to one. And then I attack him, he has to chump again. No, 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 what's going on? Turn off auto yields. I almost just clicked through that. We're gonna attack him. And I think I'm gonna cycle this Street Wraith. Because now that we have the Geist off the field, this one card's Temple Garden. All right, we're not cycling that one. That one's probably just gonna come down next turn. I wouldn't have cycled that if I could have cast the Death Shadow. If I couldn't have cast Death Shadow, I would have just played it. Brainstorm. we got to find two answers. we got to find two answers again and again and again. You are in the abyss. Play Misty. Alright, get rid of one of them. I don't have to crack my fetch, which means it's convenient. Means like I'm not dead to a geist. God, please don't be like a knight of the reliquary. Kitchen things. Oh my gosh. All right. That's bad. So now I need like a battle rage. Battle Rage. Battle Rage. Come on. <coughs> Stop. Alright, so now I just gotta attack this Jace. If my opponent chumps, I can cycle the Street Wraith. Or I can just cast it. It's probably better to just cast it. There's like something else on the board. But like a 3 4 is not winning me a game against like an active Jace. Because I'm just gonna bounce my freaking Gurmag Angler. Oh, I don't know how I win. Hit. I can hit a Death Shadow, I can hit a Snapcaster, I can hit a Lightning Bolt. I think because I can hit a Lightning Bolt, I'm going to cycle this. That's not bad, because I can get, get rid of a creature now. out of this game. It's going to be a weird deck to sideboard against.
Alright, this could work out. What do you got here, opponent? What's your play? Oh, I drew a path. <coughs> the path's bad. Now I got like one draw step. <coughs> yeah, we're just getting like Jace out of this. Jace is, Jace is doing us dirty here. We're gonna get Jace out of this game. We're dead. I'm not gonna play through an active Jace. Gross. All right. So let's think about how to sideboard here. We're getting rid of some of these. Probably this is good. This is all right. These are okay. The K command's probably not okay, but the problem is the game's gonna go long, so being able to loop back Snapcaster is probably fine. I want some of these. What do I not want? I don't know. I kind of want all my cards. Probably don't want these Inquisitions. <coughs> Maybe I just board out these Street Wraiths and then just get into like settling for a long game. <coughs> I wonder if it's better to cut my stubs and bring in young pyromancers, even though I've got Anger of the Gods. Like, <clears throat> the young pyromancers can at least, like, go wide against planeswalkers. And, like, Stubborn Denial hits Path and planeswalkers. Which is, like, good. I think I'm gonna cut these battle rages, actually, because I'm trimming down on creatures. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna bring these in. It's gonna be alright. We'll cut a. <coughs> I don't know. This is an odd deck to sideboard against. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I can like land a pyromancer in the right spot, it's gonna be really good because he doesn't kill creatures very well. I don't really want to cut a snapcaster because all I want to do is recur them. Part of me is like the game's gonna go long and they have path to exile, so I think I can shave a land. I did board in a bunch of expensive things, but like they're pathing me. This is a nice part about the Grixis deck that you can't do with the Jun deck. You can just board out your street rates and not really feel bad about it. So we have two looks at a land, three looks at a land. I'm gonna keep this. <coughs> but it's not even that good. I don't have like a removal spell on one. This hand wants like removal spells and lands. Yeah, I think I'm gonna log in. Alright. Keep this. What a guy. Oh, that's a heater. We don't have a way to like do ourselves enough damage yet to get these shadows into play, but it's gonna happen. I wonder if I should play this EE -E on one right now. Like, I'm not doing. I guarantee I'm not doing anything my next turn. so sad if my opponent just like plays a bird here but like the problem is they can just like not play a bird and they just kind of blank this for the whole game and then we wasted our e yeah see that makes me that makes me feel a little better jace the mind sculptor <coughs> Stops my draw stick. I get the upkeep stops. You like all you should like 
Like, a good time to always do things is on upkeeps, but... But now they're just, like, hanging out in my draw step. Just to chillin'. dog is sleeping on his back. He's got his paws in the air. And he's just like, if I, had, if I knew where my actual camera was, I'd show you guys, but my wife is in my camera. I don't know where it is. If we had this fetch land next turn, we'd go like double shadow and an explosives, triple spell. Definitely getting on the battlefield here. If my opponent, like, we draw a fetch line here, I'm not playing this game. Yeah. We're going to get both these Death Shadows down. We're going to get a battlefield before his freaking Jace just ruins us. God, why is my opponent holding my draw, my draw step? <coughs> Watery Grave. I'm gonna need triple black. We can always like shock ourselves too. If we need to to make these shadows larger with this uh Kulligan's command. But I'm probably this Kulligan's command's probably gonna like finish off with Jace after it bounces a shadow. Nothing. bounces it, then we'll go like K command, pop the Jace, have them discard a card, and then play the Death Shadow again. We could like minus and go fishing, but the odds of that aren't great. Especially after we cut some of our street rates. So you get your Jace opponent. <laughs> Maybe they get their Jace. Yes, yeah, so we still have a really good turn here. And my opponent's gonna really struggle to pressure a planeswalker, I think. Oh, well, they have a bunch of creatures, but a bunch of like little dirty creatures. They're gonna have a hard time pressuring it with the hand that we have. And they're not gonna get very much time. Let's kick your man's gas. God, these stops are so obnoxious. I just wanna play magic, opponent. Sources. Is this member's gonna be able to grow our shadow? What? Oh no, the rule. Is that how that works now? Two, da two damage to any target. Yep, I had to hit that. Well, that's sad. Now I know K Command's gotta hit this. It doesn't no longer you go play or redirect. <coughs> I 
hit our shadow here. <coughs> it's all right. We're still like, opponent still has to answer this, Liliana. All right, that's that's gonna that's gonna do it. Now they have double planeswalker. I guess I wasn't gonna be able to beat this thing anyways. But this thing was gonna be rough. But it was gonna be much easier dealing with this than dealing with the chase. Now we're just at least we can bring the shadow back, I guess. Like, is it actually real? Is it actually, like, realistic for us to ultimate this Liliana? Like, we do have three removal spells. Yeah, I think, I think that's our best... I think our best chance to win is to ultimate this. <coughs> At this point. I can, I can, like, cover this pretty easily. But it'd be much easier to win this game if there was not a Jace in play. That's for sure. But like, if we can clear the board, because like we're gonna be able to go removal spell, removal spell, removal spell, removal spell. So like, if we can clear the board, we should be good here. <coughs> This is a voice of resurgence, I'm gonna puke. Or Geist. Well, no, I can eat the Geist away, okay. Okay, so I do have to kill this. So we're just gonna terminate the Noble Hierarch. Check out on this, E the Geist. We draw both of these in like every single game. What is this, what are we doing when we draw stuff here? All right, we go fetch a land. We are fortunate to get out of this one. Let's go red. And I'm just gonna pop pop this now to get that F6 value. And like my hand's on the table anyways, it doesn't matter when I do it. Oh god! Uh God, I'm all over the place tonight. Oh, let's go back to the deck here. I mean, like, the good thing is we weren't winning that anyways, right? Like, we weren't winning there anyways. I was all like, yes, we've got it. What's frustrating there is that we could have won that game if I would have just known, like, the command interaction here. So I don't know, I'm gonna continue trying to work with this deck. I'm not gonna play it tonight, I'm tired. I'm making all kinds of mistakes here. It's just been one of those nights. But I think I wanna put in one Tasker. Like I definitely feel it. I feel it a lot with this Gurmag Angler here. Or maybe like, maybe like a Bobbler too. I don't know. I don't necessarily like all four of these Snapcaster Mages either. <coughs> Like, I wonder if the deck can just move down to, like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like, we weren't winning anyways, but, like, we did just, like, super toss it. And I was all super excited about it, too. I was like, fuck yeah, we're gonna win. And I was like, I'm gonna kill my own Liliana. 
How bad would I have felt if I could have ulted it and then done that? That would have been so bad. But I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. I'm going to be back on Sunday. Um, probably going to try something. I'm probably going to try more Grixis. Or where is it? Something like this. Here. That's fine. We were winning that anyways, so like whatever. Try something like this. Try like four, maybe I'll go pick up four of these spheres and look to play around with this and see if those spheres can help me in my, uh, in my whatever they are. <coughs> oh, where are my tongue Oh, my friend has my tongue voice. Okay, I was like, oh my god, where are my voice? Just try something like this to give this a whirl here. I'm excited to see if this can make it so I can hedge against the other combo decks and not play it and then play just more cards that are just great against humans. So, but I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out. Um, let me see if there's anyone else. Oh, that was just so bad. Look around you. War is coming. Evil is taking. So I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. We're back on Sunday. Hopefully we can at least be a little more awake and not play a complete idiot. Yeah, thank you all for showing up, and have a good rest of your day.